Hello, my name is Gretchen, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up time tracking for your agency. So there are a couple of user privileges and super roles that we need to add for you and or your staff. So from our admin tab, we are going to go to user privileges manage. The first thing we are going to do when we get here is we're going to come in here. We're going to find the staff that you want to give the ability to create your time tracking templates. And under our module roles section, we're going to click off time tracking template management. And we're going to go ahead and save this. This is going to give the staff who you assign that to the ability to add time tracking templates for the agency. Once they add a template, those templates can be shared between your different departments and your individuals. The other thing that we have to do is we're going to go into super roles. So there are a couple of new super roles in here. Um, we are going to go, I'm going to go to this one for all roles for my managers. I may want to give them the ability to assign time tracking to their individuals, to their caseloads. So remember, super roles are caseload based. So if I want my managers to be able to assign and unassign templates as they need for their individuals, I'm going to give them this time tracking template assign unassign. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Time tracking data view allows you to pull reports and see the data that's being entered. And time tracking data edit is going to be what you give your DSPs who need to put in that sleep tracking or that time tracking information. Okay, always remember to go ahead and click save. Okay. Once you have that updated for your different super roles, we're going to go back out. Okay, I am now going to go to my, um, actually, I'm going to refresh my privileges here. So that all updates for me. And I'm going to go back here to my agency tab. My agency tab is where I have the ability to make my time tracking templates. So if I wanted to make, if I have that user privilege, which I do, the ability to make a time tracking template, and I want to call this one maybe sleep tracking one hour. Okay. You want to make sure that you label these clearly so your managers or whoever is assigning them know what they are. And I want this sleep tracker to go from maybe 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And remember that these cross that midnight time frame. It is the module that goes across. Okay, um, I'm going to choose my interval. I can choose two hours, one hour, 30 minutes, or 15 minutes. But this is a one hour sleep tracker, so I'm going to choose one hour. And I'm going to then put in my options for my staff. So I'm going to say they're asleep. Okay, they were awake. Maybe they were LOA. I want to have an option in there. And maybe they were using the restroom. Um, Okay, and we're going to go ahead and ch choose our colors. So we do have a whole bunch of colors in here. So if asleep, maybe we want to give that that minty green color. And awake, maybe we want to do orange. Um, and LOA, maybe we're going to make that dark gray. Again, you can choose whatever colors you want. And if they were using the restroom, maybe that's pink. Okay. So go ahead and choose your colors. This is a new box, this instructions and notes. So we can put in here notes to our staff when we're applying them. So um, please make sure this is documented on every hour. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so you can make as many different time tracking templates as you need. Um, again, I can go back. I can go to new, and maybe I want one for repositioning. Again, you can have as many as you need. If we're repositioning every around the clock, so maybe we are repositioning starting at midnight, um, or maybe it's a waking hour, so it's like a daytime repositioning in their wheelchair. We're going to go from 6 a.m. to maybe 10 p.m. 
Okay, again, you can do whatever times you want. This is every two hours. And we want to have maybe right side, left side, um, back. Um, 45 degree. Okay, you can add in whatever options you need. Again, you're going to come in and choose your different colors. Okay. Okay, and then let's give it pink. So you can add as many different time trackers as you need. I'm going to come back to my dashboard. Once you've created your time trackers, you can always see them by going to the list. We have a couple of different ones in here. We have this one that we just created. There's a behavior tracker. Um, you can come in here to see this sleep tracking as well. Okay, so awake in bed. Again, and many different options as you need. Okay, I'm going to come back out. Here I have my assignments of who this is assigned to. Okay, so you can see that as well. Um, but to assign it, remember we just gave out that super role. So if I go back to my dashboard, and I go now to my individual tab. If you gave your managers that ability to assign time tracking templates, if you gave that ability to assign templates, you'll have time tracking template assign and unassign. So if I come here to assign, we can take that one hour sleep tracker and I have a list of everybody that is on my caseload. Okay, so if I want to assign it to everybody that I work with in all of my different homes, I can go ahead and I can hit that check all button at the top. I can also make this so I can see both pages. So I missed a couple because they weren't on that page. So I can recheck that and I can assign that. And I've just assigned it to all of my individuals. I can assign it to more. Um, I don't really have more individuals to assign it to because we assigned it to everybody. Um, but I also can come in and with that assign unassign role, I have that ability to unassign. So maybe um, somebody goes to a two hour sleep tracker. Okay, these are all the people that are unassigned. So maybe Brittany and Olivia are now on two hour sleep trackers. We can remove them from that and we can hit unassign. Okay. Thank you for joining us for our time tracking admin setup. Um, I am going to be doing, join us for the DSP, how to enter in your data. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gretchen and thank you for joining us for how to enter our time tracking data. From your individual tab, you'll see if you've been assigned the ability to enter time tracking data, time tracking daily data. If you click this, you're going to come to a list of your individuals and you can click on the individual that you want to put in data for. So if I come in here to Sarah, I can choose which time tracker I want to put in information for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose her sleep tracking one hour. I'm going to hit next. And it's going to bring me to her sleep tracker. So she has um, options here telling me that I need to put in my documentation every hour. I have my different options. And I'm simply going to click on the drop downs that maybe she was awake. Okay, and she was awake at 10, and then at 11, she was asleep. At 12, she was asleep. At 1 a.m., she was using the restroom. At 2 a.m., she was asleep. And I can simply go through and quickly add my data. Okay, and she was still asleep at 6 a.m. and at 7 a.m. And then it must be a weekend, and so we're awake at 8 a.m. And we're going to go ahead, and we're going to hit Save. If I go back to this form, I do have the option of updating an a, a entry. So if at 7 a.m. she was awake, I can come back in and edit that. That will create an update history. So if I again go back to that form, you can see here at 7 a.m. there is an update history of what was changed. Okay, I can toggle to the previous day and enter data if I 
had forgotten. Please note that if you do go and enter in data for the previous day, it will date and timestamp it for the current date and time. Okay, so we do have that. I can go back to the form again. I can also go to the next day. This brings us to that current date. And if I go to the following day, so this is starting tonight, you see I cannot enter data because 8 p.m. tonight has not happened. Okay, so I can always hit cancel and come back out. I can also access the time tracker from the individual homepage and go to, well, we were working with Sarah there. Okay, I can come to Sarah and I have under my modules, my time tracker, and I can go to daily data. And again, if now if I had forgotten to do my data from earlier in this week, I could go to this specific day and I could go back out to a Monday. Monday was the last time I looked and I know I forgot to put in my data. So I can come in and I can put in her information. Okay, again, remember that it is date and time stamped with the current date and time. So if you're entering this, you should let your supervisor know. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And then always we're gonna hit save. Okay, each individual can have more than one time tracking template assigned to them. So you may need to go to this record more data and choose a different time tracker for her. I can also go back out to my dashboard. And if I want to see what information has been entered, I can go to Sarah. I can go to this time tracking data and I can go to monthly report. I'm gonna choose again my template. My date range defaults to the last month. And I can come in here and I can see, if I scroll over, the days that I have put in data for. So this will easily help me to visualize when she's getting up in the middle of the night or what she's doing. It'll also give me my averages down here at the bottom, my maximum time she was asleep and awake, and the average times. I can also hit this PDF in printable and export this to a PDF to take to a physician with me. Time tracking again is a simple way to add data to look at that information from an overall perspective of how the individual is sleeping. It can be used for repositioning, for mood tracking, for a variety of different information. Thank you for joining us. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your support team. Thank you. As always with our Training Academy courses, after you've taken this course, you can reference it at any time or rewatch sections as needed. If you didn't pass the quiz the first time around, we're not going to penalize you for retaking the course. We want you to get this right. Thanks for watching.